I think some of you guys will say, well, hang on a second. You know, the central bankers have stopped buying in October. So why is the equity market still going up? And the answer that I have, and again, you know, uh, I mean, it's only a, a, a conjecture, is that actually what they've been very successful in doing so far is they've been very successful in actually jawboning all the market participants who are extrapolative to say that, hey, listen, you know, guess what? You know, we'll keep on talking about QE, right? So, you, you know, when the market went down 10% or more than 10% uh, in October, you know, Jim Bullard came out saying, oh, guess what? We could actually, you know, start reinstituting QE. And then, of course, the market rallied. And then again, the market went down 5%. And then and I think it was Charles Evans who sort of came out and said, oh, you know, I think if the market's down, we could, we could actually bring QE back on. You know, it's all data dependent. So they've actually been trying to very, very successfully keep the market uh, trying to sort of front run these assets, thinking that, you know, at any point in time, they're going to bring QE back on again. And in my opinion, you know, it's not going to be a strategy that succeeded. Again, I, I think a lot of people are not familiar because you look at just the S&P 500, but the fact is that almost every single other global market peaked out in April 2000, uh, in June of 2014. So if you look at most of the other markets, they actually put in their peaks in June of 2014. And since then, they've been actually turning down. Whether you look at emerging market bonds, you look at junk, you look at, you know, so essentially all these markets have really, in a sense, peaked out. If you look at the all-world equity index, you'll find again that it's, it peaked out in July of 2014. 